So I just want to recap basically what Van Til's position is. He's saying that we're all sinners, that we come to historical evidence and any evidence with a bias and we're rebellious and we don't want to look at things in an objective way. Also that this world is based around God and there is no neutral fact. Any f information that we present to uh, an unbeliever will be interpreted in a biased way. And all facts have their ultimate interpretation in God. So if you give an argument from history, for example, or a uh, philosophical argument for the existence of God, the skeptic will invariably interpret that information according to their own bias. What we have to do, says Van Til, is basically expose that they already not God, that their system is completely not viable. The way Van Til does it, and Greg Benson, is to point of three points. Number one, to show that they don't ultimately know anything. Um, the issue of contingency and the issue of inconsistency within presuppositions. So Van Til will point out that you say you know something as a skeptic, but ultimately um, that is uh, reasoning in a circle um, or the infinite regress. Uh, what that means is anybody in the finite circle of knowledge can only know a finite number of things. And so there's never going to be a time when you can say that you absolutely know everything. And so therefore, if you don't absolutely know everything, you're not sure whether what you do know is actually true knowledge. The second issue is contingency, that all things throughout history are based on the fact that, are not based on the fact that we can prove it, uh, the uniformity of nature, that there's a certain part of contingency in historical life that we have faith and that presupposes the existence of God. And then thirdly, we look at presuppositions of the individual and we see inconsistencies. So, for example, if the atheist says that they believe all that there is of the material, we ask them about logic. Law of non-contradiction is immaterial. How do you answer for that? We see internal critique of the person's position, and then we show that it's not viable. So that's what presuppositional apologetics is all about, is challenging the unbeliever on the pre-ideas of what we used when we come to evidence. It's a very powerful apologetic, uh, but um, there are some issues that I want to get into um, about what Bantil's saying and uh, we will bring some of this out as we continue to read this.